All right, guys, so in this video, I've actually took a page that we've already created in uh, one of our previous tutorials. Feel free to check that out up here. You should get a link, uh, but I just added some sort of animate uh, class to this, right? So it's it's like animated uh, and uh, you can actually take a look and see all of these sorts of uh, animations that we've added uh, where this uh, animate.css class uh, library, I think, um, is just a simple file, as you can see in here, it's just a simple file uh, with um, some keyframes defined, but you can use it very easily and I will show you how in this video. Alright, so I have the folder opened up in my Visual Studio Code and I've also opened it up in my browser. Um, yeah, so let's actually add the animate.css, so I will just go into Google, type in here animate.css and then you probably just want to click on this first link, right? It should take you to GitHub, all right? So if you click on that, uh, it should take you to this sort of page. Um, and in here, you can just click on the download animate.css or you can just click on this view on GitHub. I would recommend you click on this view on GitHub. And in here, you have just a couple of options how you can actually use this. So you can actually just download the script and just reference it as a file. Uh, but you can also just import it as a link so you don't have to download anything. You just simply copy paste this link into your head. So I will just copy paste it in here. And right now we've basically imported the animate.css. So right now what we can do is just animate all of these things that we have on our website. So in order to do that, I will just go here and close the navigation. And in here, we can just pick the elements that we want to animate. Right, so in order to animate pretty much any element on your website, all you have to do is just put the class uh, animated to this. So let's just say that we want to animate this image. Okay, so we just add the class animated. And then we want to name the uh, animation that we want to use. Uh, in this documentation, uh, in here, so whatever, yeah, there it is. Uh, underneath the usage, there is a animation classes. And basically in here, there is a list of every animation that you may want to use in your project that you can use. So we will just use them. So I will go back to the project and let's just use, for example, the bounce, uh, bounce and or let me just use pools. Pools might look actually good in here. So if I load the page, uh, you should see the pools. Yeah, there it is, right? Uh, cool. So what you may want to do now is let's just define a delay. So you don't want the animation to take place right away. You want to put a little bit of delay to this. So let's just say delay of, um, I don't know how long, two seconds. Uh, you can put delays of, I think, up to five seconds. Uh, so it can go from one second all the way up to five seconds, right? So let's just see how it looks like now if we delay it and then there is the pulse. Okay, nice. Uh, what you may want to also do is just put a infinite. Uh, so this is just another class, right? So you are just adding a CSS classes to your element and they will take care of the animation. And what you can do is just they say that this will be infinite like this. And if I save this whole thing and let's reload the page, it should wait two seconds and then it should pause, right? This nice. Uh, so that looks actually pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, so I will just go with that. So let me actually animate this whole text. So I will just target this whole diff and put the animated class in here. And what you can do is, for example, use something very simple, something like fade in animation, which is just the pretty much the, the most simplest animation that you can use. It will just fade in yeah, the whole text. Uh, so that's just very simple. Uh, you can also slow down the animation if you just put the class of slow to this. So you can just use slow and that means that the animation speed will be around two seconds. All right, as you can see, it was uh, pretty pretty slow. If I reload it again, yeah, there it is, pretty slow. Uh, you can even use slower, so that's like three seconds. So slower class, uh, that will make it three seconds, all right. And you can also use other classes like fast and faster. So let me just change this to the class, because currently it's taking, I don't know, 
pretty long time and let me just put the class of fast and that would mean that it should pulse faster all right so we wait a little bit and there you can see right it's pulsing faster um this is 80 milliseconds uh so it takes the animation to actually be done of 18 milliseconds uh, you can also use the class of faster and that will take just half a second so 15 milliseconds uh, 500 sorry right you can see how, how fast that is uh cool so yeah that's pretty much what you can do with the slow and and fast part yeah but since this animation is driving me crazy let me just change this to slow uh, because that's just too much and yeah, let me actually just change this delay to for example just one second uh, so that it starts pretty soon there it is okay uh, so let's just move on and let me just animate somehow these uh, these sort of social proof items uh, so that's just this thing is just one of these items right so basically this whole uh, part is just that one diff um, so let me just put the animated to this so animated and let's just see how would a mm, I don't know uh, let's just use something like zoom in and let's see how that would look like uh, there it is zoom in I think that this looks actually pretty cool so let's just go with that uh, we can use different classes for different uh, items even though it might look pretty odd what you can do is use the zoom out so this will just zoom out of this that should be the second one okay but um, but of course this is sort of um, fade away animation so uh, it will be just when you want to uh, for example when you click on button and you want it to disappear you can just use sort of uh, animation like this one so you can just add these classes via JavaScript or something like that um, let's just see how a jello would look like animation if I just put the class jello uh, there it is right it's sort of <laughs> no like it, it was like a jello um, all right uh, you can also use animations there are pretty cool animations in here so if you put the animated class in here and let's just add another animation of head shake it should shake its head so that would be this third one right you can notice that it started to shake its head right um so you may want to use this sort of animation for example when you click on a button in a form uh, but it doesn't send because the user didn't fill something out right so you can just use the animation like no you you got something wrong um so that's like useful useful case uh, useful use case um all right <laughs> let's just add another class so animated and let's just use the tada like this and let's see how that will like there it is so it's it's sort of right when went up a little bit and then it started to i think that this is also pretty cool uh, all right so let's style another uh animations right here so in the about us section uh let me just put uh let's see this is the diff and this is the image so let me just put uh, the class of animated in here and let's just use uh, the fade in and let's just use fade in left probably fade in left I hope that there is a class like this so it should fade in from left let's see there it is uh, of course right <laughs> sorry my bad so fade in but from right and uh, these these other animation uh, the the text actually uh, we can use just also animated but fade in from left that you probably already see so fade in left save this thing reload it and okay so let's just reload it again um, there it is nice pretty nice animations actually so let's just do pretty much the same for the or like you can do pretty much the same for the uh, second div right so I will leave that up to you to actually add these things uh, then we have this sort of portfolio uh, section uh, what we can do is just add once again a animations on this uh, so let's just see where do we have it well portfolio item is the thing that we that we want to animate and let's just use for example something like animated and let's just use uh, Jack 
in the box. And let's see how that would look like. If I reload the page, uh, it should get animated. But for some reason, okay, it just takes too much time because I'm probably recording and doing a lot of things on my computer and these animations are sort of um, hard on the graphic card. Uh, so yeah, it's having problems doing this. Uh, even if I reload it again, it might help. Hopefully it does. Um, we can maybe put a little bit of delay to this thing. So delay of, let's just use 4 seconds, uh, so that the images can load and then the, then the uh, actual animation starts. Uh, that might help. Uh, but overall, like, uh, what you can do is just go to the documentation, documentation and just search out for uh, pretty much any animation that you may want to use in your project. Uh, they are named pretty much straightforward. So um, the zoom out, basically just zoom out of this so the, so the uh, element actually disappears. A different sort of animations like zoom in, actually zoom in so it appears, right, and stuff like that. Uh, the, the, they are named pretty much like straightforward, right? You should be able to understand what it does just from the name. Um, and yeah, you can see a lot of classes going on in here. So you can uh, basically animate your whole website uh, just via the animate.css. And let me actually just go and check out the code on this whole thing. So if you go up here and click on this animate.css, you can actually check out the whole code. So in here you can, for example, see the animation of bounce, right? You can see that it goes uh, from uh, these to these, okay? Uh, so in here it just, uh, basically there's some sort of translate, right? It translates um, how the function actually, uh, yeah, how, how it bounces, right? It actually should bounce. Uh, if I show you the animation uh, on something, Let's just go up there. Okay, nothing happens. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So if I just add the animation to, uh, let's see, in here, instead of pulls, I will just use bounce. It will look horrible, but let's just see if it reloads. Uh, there should be a bounce, right? This is the animation. And this is basically what is defined in this code, all right? So this is just how it's defined. You can just go ahead and check out all of the different animations that are in there, uh, flash, and, and you can see that they are just made via uh, a keyframes, right? So simple keyframe uh, that goes from some percentage to other and somehow animates this whole thing. So it's really not that complicated uh, to actually create sort of animation. Uh, if you want me to do a video about keyframes and about how to actually create all of these animations by yourself, feel free to let me down. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, so otherwise I think that this is pretty much it. Um, you can just take a look at the code, uh, see for yourself how it is implemented. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, feel free to hit the like button. If you want to see more similar videos, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.